In this video, we're going to use the seasonal adjustment factors to create a deseasonalized demand and to create a forecast based on the deseasonalized demand. So the creating the deseasonalized demand or detrending data is not that difficult. I'm just going to take the actual demand and I'm going to divide it by this seasonal adjustment factor. And I'm just going to copy that. So essentially, here's what I'm saying. Instead of, if I took the seasonality out of the data, I would have expected a demand of 92 slash 93 rather than 90, or 91 instead of 80. And so what I've done is I've removed that seasonal, uh, that seasonal bouncing out of the trend. Now maybe we could even see that. Uh, let's try real quick, see what we can see. In the graph. Okay, so essentially we've taken the, the bounciness out of the data. So with that deseasonalized data, I'm now going to use linear regression. So I need an intercept. I need the known wise. These are my deseasonalized values of demand. And then I need the known X's, which are the time periods. So my intercept is this rather large number, negative 11,023. My slope, I need the known Y's. And again, this is the deseasonalized values of demand and time, my known X's. At this point, I can create a forecast. I can create a forecast that says uh, in January of 2015, I would have a forecast that Y hat is actually equal to this intercept plus this slope times T. Okay. So here is my forecast trend line using this deseasonalized data. I have just one step left to get to my actual forecast. I am now going to take this forecast of the deseasonalized trend line and I'm going to adjust it by the adjustment factor. It's kind of like I use the adjustment factor once to deseasonalize the data. Now I'm using it a second time take my estimate on the deseasonalized trend and make my adjustment. Okay, so I am forecasting we will have sales of about 93 units where the actual was 90 units. In February of 2015, I was forecasting that we'll have sales of 84 units. Actual demand was 80 units. So my deseasonalizing the, the goal or the hope is, is that it will reduce the error over and above what the error was uh, by ignoring the seasonal trend. So the process works the same whether I use this simple averaging method or the more complicated moving average, centered moving average method. So I don't think I'll show the centered moving average uh, here. So. I hope this works for you. Let me know if you need more. Thanks.